uh, you can say that this is the most important supplement that you will ever use. Now, of course, that's clearly marketing, but uh, I can assure you uh, from, from studying this industry for over a quarter of, an, of, of, an, of a century, it's true. <laughs> this is true. This is absolutely true. And uh, during many of our, our lectures and our, our webinars and uh, our online uh, um, information, it's going to be very easy to convince anybody that this is the case. Um, just looking at, at our history, I mean, this is something that, that we own. We own this whole glutathione realm, especially when it comes to using natural proteins. Uh, this is Dr. Gustavo Bunos and Dr. Patricia Kongshaven. They discovered a natural protein that raises glutathione naturally and more effectively than any other substance you could be sticking in your mouth outside of a handful of drugs. So this is our science. We're the ones that and uh, the rest of the team were the first ones to have published human studies, human studies in this area using proteins to raise glutathione and looking at the role of glutathione in the immune system. It's us, it's our company, it's your scientists that are the ones that brought this to the world. And finally, uh, here's a picture of three geniuses and one really good looking guy. <laughs> well, how could I dare to put myself on the same page as these, these other three scientists? Um, my major function over the last couple decades is to take this knowledge and bring it to the rest of the world in a manner that it's digestible and understandable. Um, so again, I'm gonna boast a little here. My, my, I've sold more books on glutathione than all of the other authors on glutathione books in the world. And so uh, what I've done, is I've, I've taken the message of, of these three incredible geniuses and uh, again, it made it available for everybody to read and understand. So we're talking, of course, about immunocal raising glutathione. What does glutathione do? Um, very easily remembered by using the acronym IDEA, glutathione. What a great idea. Uh, I stands for the immune system. Um, if your glutathione levels are low, your immune system is functioning at uh, suboptimally. If your, if your glutathione levels are high, well, then you can start to achieve uh, optimal immune uh, defense. D stands for detoxification. I tell people that next to water, next to water, you probably won't find a more important detoxification substance in your body. Uh, it detoxifies pesticides and herbicides and automobile exhaust and, 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 and heavy metals and uh, on and on. Uh, there are just too many thousands of things in, in our environment that we're exposed to that we don't need and glutathione is critical and responsible for the removal of thousands and thousands of these. Uh, e stands for energy. Again, we can have a whole talk just on energy. Um, uh, just to give you the a broad sweep, um, when we look at uh, part of what uh, one of our guest speakers is going to uh, be presenting today, you're going to see the importance uh, of this in energy and in muscular performance. Uh, so I'm not going to steal any thunder from our guest later on. And finally, A stands for antioxidant. Uh, we call glutathione, and when I say we, I'm talking about many researchers, not just people at Immunitech. Um, glutathione is the master antioxidant, and it, it gained that notoriety for a few reasons, the most important of which is that given our knowledge of between 2,000 and 4,000 different antioxidants, none of them can work without the presence of glutathione. All antioxidant function depends on glutathione to drive this whole process. So there you go, four little letters that will tell you 95% of what glutathione does in your body. How does Immunical work? Again, let's keep it simple. 
uh, we'll get into the details uh, during uh, some of our talks. Number one, it raises glutathione. And when I first started working with this, uh, with you guys and with John Molson, uh, we go back uh, to like 25 years, um, not everybody, in fact, very few people have heard of glutathione, but given that there's over 150,000 medical publications to date, uh, this is becoming part of uh, our lexicon when you speak to anybody in health or uh, nutrition. Uh, now they have heard of glutathione and they're starting to understand it. And two, uh, how does Immunical work? Uh, not only does it raise glutathione, but it's also the most important protein that you could put in your mouth. And I say this again, uh, based on a protein measurements such as something called a BV or biological value. Uh, we can assess a number to any protein that uh, we put into our bodies. And when we look at BV, for example, uh, Immunical is head and shoulders above eggs, milk, beef, chicken, soy, you name it. That should be enough reason for you to take it. What does Immunical do? 30 chapters of different pathologies that it's involved in, but more simply, um, because it's a natural product and we can't make medical claims, uh, just remember these three areas. Uh, it's gonna make you healthier, it's gonna make you stronger, and right now our whole focus is on Immunical and the brain, and that's why we have that smarter logo over there. Uh, we've uh, been around for over 40 years. Uh, we have upwards of, I don't know, between 80 and I guess 100 international patents on the Immunical. Um, by the end of this year, it says 60 plus articles. I'm hoping that by 2021, we will have over 70 published articles in the medical literature on Immunical. You just, you're not gonna find a company that has five. And uh, finally, um, these are books. Here's a, the Physician's Desk Reference, a PDR. Uh, this is the uh, American uh, version uh, of something we have in Canada called the CPS, that blue book that you Canadians have seen on your doctor's desk. Well, these books sit on the desk of every single doctor and every single pharmacist in North America. And uh, these books contain all the drugs that a doctor can prescribe. When you turn to the, uh, uh, the substances that start with the letter I, you're gonna find something in there that's not a drug, something called Immunical, uh, listed with uh, clinical indications, contraindications, uh, clinical pharmacology, and all the other things entrenched into medical language that will make your physician or health professional quite comfortable that this is something that is legitimate and can be uh, recommended um, to a patient. 